Hi guys, I am Yash Desai from DJDesai.com. Welcome back to the digital marketing tool of the week series. The tool that we are going to check out today is Flowpage. Flowpage is your own personal landing page. This landing page holds all your links such as social accounts, contact information and so much more. Flowpage is considered as one of the best link tree alternatives. Let's see why. I will go to my browser, enter flow page dot page. So this is what the welcome page looks like. We will scroll down a bit. And here we can see that they have directly compared themselves to Linktree. And they say everything that Linktree has and more for free. So these are some of the features that they provide for free for which Linktree charges. Now if you are new and you can write your username over here like and start creating but I have already signed up so I will log in. So this is what the dashboard looks like. On the left hand side we have all the elements like the links we can place and widgets and other information and on the right hand side we have the layout like how your flow page will look. So let's check out the links and widgets these are a huge list of links that you can add for demo i had already inserted my youtube channel and facebook page link now i'll add further links like a link to my blog i'll enter the url over here then i'll give a name to that link now you can also add a description if you want it's optional so I won't add it. Now, there are three image options like no image, icon or a featured image. So the icon one is already selected so I will add an icon over here. You can zoom in or zoom out on the icon. Click on save. Okay so this looks great. Now I will click on save link. Now in this layout we can see the website has been added. Other options are like Instagram, Twitter, Spotify, Snapchat, TikTok, LinkedIn and much more. So I'll also insert my Instagram page link over here. Here I need to write my username and then my title. Again the description is optional so I will leave it blank and here the icon is already of Instagram so I will keep that and then click on save. So Instagram is also added. Now what we get extra over here when compared to Linktree is these widgets. Widgets like contact collection, you can embed a video, you can upload a PDF, you can embed your Spotify and much more many other options are there so you can add any widget from here if you want i will include the contact collection form i'll add the title over here and then the description that is the pitch that is why your visitor should sign up okay this looks great then the next step is to include a name, email ID and a phone number. Like I want the name and the email ID. And you can also include the phone number but I won't because people hesitate to give their phone numbers. So I will include these two and click on save contact collection. Great. So it has come. Now we will scroll down a bit. And you can add your bio, like your information, you can add a photo. Here you have an option to select any one shape like square or circle. So the square looks good so I will select that. Zoom in a bit and save. My image already contains the name so I will leave the other two blank and click on save bio. So it's visible over here at the top. I will scroll down again 
will add some contact information. So here you can add your contact number, email address and physical address. So I will add my email address. Click on save. So this is the email icon that gets displayed as your contact information. Now if we scroll down further, you have the option to arrange these icons. Like if you want your website to show up at the top, you can do that. Then the YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram and then the contact collection form. Okay, so I want it in this order. This looks fine. Then at the end is the QR code. You can download this QR code of your pro page if you want. Now we'll move on to the next step which is customize. We'll customize how this looks. You have different color options over here. You can select any one of them. You can select also a style like color, dark, light. I will keep it light. Select blue color. Yeah, this looks great. You also have an option to add a background image, but I will continue with the colors. Click on save. Then we'll go to the third tab, which is analytics. In the analytics tab, you get data such as how many visitors do you have, how many of them clicked on any one of the links, and which links did they click. And on the right hand side you can see that they have a pro plan. So if you want a look into advanced analytics then you can go for the pro plan. Okay so we'll go back to content and this is how our flow page will look. This is the URL through which your flow page can be accessed. We'll have a look at it. So this is how your flow page will look on a desktop and this is how it will look on a phone. Further if you wish to personalize this URL you can do that by using a plugin called pretty links from your wordpress blog. And how to do that I have already showed it in the link tree video you can check that out. That's it for today hope this video was helpful and informative. So which one are you going to use, Linktree or Flow page? Tell me about your views in the comment section below. Goodbye.